Welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Today we will be doing a look using the products I received in my July Ipsy Glam Bag and my Glam Bag Plus. I had said when I did that unboxing that I would come back and make a look and so I am going to use what items I received and then just supplementing in whatever I need to to complete the look. As you guys can see, I have changed my setup around. Hopefully it will work okay. I'm hoping. And I am sweating for some reason. I don't know why. So if I look like I have a glow about me, it's just because I'm hot. The items that are not in my Ipsy bag, I will just show you what I'm using and um, link them down below for you. I have a doctor's appointment this morning, and so I thought I'd get up er just a little bit early and film. I'm just setting my primer. So last month I received an eyeshadow, a pigment, a highlighter, a blush, and a primer between those two bags. I mean, I got a lot of skincare as well, but makeup wise, those were the two items that I, those were the two items, those were the items that I received. So I will be making a look using an eyeshadow, a pigment, a highlighter, a blush, and a face primer. Yes, we're going to take this, the Balm um, Will Powder, it's a blush. And I am actually just going to put it into my crease and transition. So I have been overly stressed these past couple of weeks. And I don't, I don't know what has happened if I'm having a reaction to my meds or if I am just having a stressful, you know, reaction to world events, what have you. I'm not quite sure what has set me off, but I, it has been eventful here. And so I haven't slept a whole lot in the past two weeks. I, I do get sleep, but it's not the sleep I need. And so something had to give, and unfortunately that was creating content, and I do apologize for being gone. It's just, there's no justification for it. It, it happened, and you know, I thought I would be ready to come back, but I'm still struggling to be here. I'm feeling very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm feeling very self-conscious, uncomfortable. I'm not quite sure what word I'm looking for. All right, I am taking the, how do you say it? Il Makai, Il Maquillage. I'm taking that eyeshadow. It's a dark brown with a shimmer in it and it is called Newsflash. I told you guys I bought a magnifying glass, right? It's one with LED lights so I can put light on what I'm trying to read and expand it at the same time. And it's just crazy because I'm feeling old all of a sudden. You know how you start to fall apart <laughs> or so people say you do yeah that's how i'm feeling at the moment everything is going down the toilet all at once i love birthdays and i love turning 50 and i just i love i love my birthday i am a birthday freak and i was excited to turn 50 and you know, I am thankful for friends and family who 
talk to me by telephone or texted me. My mom even came over and sat on my porch, which my mom doesn't do that ever. In fact, my mom has been inside my house twice. That's it. So that, that was nice to spend some time with her and talk and just visit with her. But my birthday wasn't the same this year. Usually I'm just happy-go-lucky and love celebrating my birthday. And maybe it's because I was alone for the most part. I don't know. Does it really matter? No. It just felt different this time. Don't know. I'm just taking a flat shader brush to build up that brown just a little bit. But I'm not really liking it, so we'll see. We will see. So hopefully this setup works. If it doesn't, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, to be honest. I was, I didn't like that will powder, that blush, um, that I put down on my eye first. It just wasn't really putting down any pigmentation, but it is kind of a very light wash of peachy pink, so I don't know what I was expecting. So if I step back and assess, it performed beautifully. <laughs> and this brown, I don't know if you guys can see that it's patchy where I have packed it on. So I am going back over it with that blending brush to see if I can get it to be despotted. I don't know how do you say that. I am just taking some of my eye primer and I am putting it down so the pigment has something to stick to. Okay, I am taking this pigment by Naked Cosmetics and it is called Naturally Nude. And I think it's like a champagne shade. If I remember correctly, I'll swatch it. That's nearly nude. It's very pretty. I don't use pigments a lot. I have pigments, but I don't use them very often. So just because I don't like the mess of them, but I think they're pretty. That's kind of pretty. It's darker than I thought it would be. All right, for my primer, I'm excited to use this. I have my Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Personal Beauty Lab, Jody there, she talked really highly about this, and so I really wanted to try it. So I'm excited that I got it in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's in a squeezy tube down here, but it does have a pump. And can you see those black things in there? You have to break those little um, chunks of stuff because they're what give you some of your skincare properties, I think. Okay, are you coming out? Oh, ah, we're in business. I wasn't sure we were gonna be. I didn't get a lot of beads with that one, which to be honest with you, I'm okay with. I used a mask last night, and I will talk about it in my, my favorites video, but holy smokes, my poor little face looks like it has been, feels like it has been through the ringer. So I really put on a lot of skincare this morning, but my face is still kind of splotchy and red from that mask. While that primer is soaking in, I'm just going to line my eyes with my Shimmering Bronze Eyeliner by J-Cat Beauty. 
I love this eyeliner. At first I was not loving it at all. But now I love it. I'm going to be sad when it's gone. It's getting to the point where I'm having difficulty sharpening it. <laughs> this was not in my Ipsy bag. The Laneige Lip Glossy Balm. Yeah, I wish it came in my Ipsy bag. I love the balm. I love how hydrating it is. Okay, let me... I think it's soaked in. It's kind of... It has kind of a tap to it. I'm just going to take my Kosas um, Tinted Face Oil. And that's going to be my foundation for today. And I'll be honest with you, it's because I forgot to wet my... Sponges. And bottom line is, is I'm too lazy to get up and go with that sponge so I can put on a thicker foundation. And it's going to be muggy here today, so I thought Kosas would, will feel better on my face. I'm just taking <clears throat> this concealer just to do something with those black circles under my eyes. So my curls are kind of funky. I was going to leave my hair down to film and I fell asleep again with my turban on my head. So yeah, I have curls go going the wrong direction. Truth. Okay, let's put on some bronzer. I just grabbed my Fenty Beauty in the sun bronzer. Let's take Ofra's Glazed Donut. This was a collab with Nikki Tutorials. Why can I not say the word? So, I have swatched this. I have never put it on my face, though. So. That's pretty. I am sweating like a pig. <laughs> I have sweat on my upper lip. I'm liking that. I wasn't sure because I have a few other highlighters by Ofra and you know they're just okay they're not anything that floats my boat but I'm liking this glaze donut more than I thought I was going to yay all right let's take will powder again let's see if will will powder my cheeks beautifully come on will come on will I'm pulling for you I think this is like a nude shade, or at least it kind of looks like it in my swatches. Did I swatch this for you guys? That's what it looks like. So it's a blush, but it could pass as a highlighter for someone who has a little, you know, darker skin. Definitely darker than mine. So it's really pretty. Yep, that time I definitely picked up more pigment. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. Thank goodness I have powder. That blush is really pretty. Can you guys see it? It's very pretty. I did have to um, blend it out some, however. But <laughs> at least it blended out, which is good because I got it a little too dark. Let me go do my brows, my mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, I do have my brows and my mascara on. I used my Maybelline Colossal and it clumped up on me on this eye and I have tried to get that clump out, but it like sucked all my my lashes into one little clump. So I think this is retired. I knew it was getting close, but I didn't know it would be today. And then for my brows, I just used my Pacifica High Def Brow Set since I'm in a hurry and I didn't want to take the time to use a cream. And then for my lips, I'm just using my Clinique Chubby Stick in Mighty Bamosa that I am trying to pan. Okay, what blew me away? That primer, that primer is nice. It worked beautifully with the Kosas Tinted Facial Oil. I didn't get any beads, you know, for me to have to burst them on my cheek. I didn't, 
I didn't get any, I think I got one, but I didn't feel the sensation of it bursting. But I like it. It has a little tack and that Kosas really, um, you know, kind of grabbed it. And I didn't have any problems with my Kosas pe pilling on top of that primer. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this primer. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do an inner corner highlight. So I was going to talk about Glazed Donut by Ofra. That's what made it dawn on me that I did not do my inner corner. So I just slapped in there a little bit. I was expecting nothing from Glazed Donut, to be honest with you. Like I said, my experiences with their highlighter hasn't, I haven't been as impressed as you know, other people have, but I really like Clay's Donut. I think it is gorgeous. I think it goes nicely with this look, with my skin coloring. So yeah, overall, I like all of these products. You know, the pigment, the pigment I made a mess with, but, and that, Maybe not this brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna have to play with it some more. Maybe use a fluffy brush versus a shader brush. That might have been where I went wrong with it. So I'm gonna have to play with it more, but everything else I really liked. So while I was impressed with it coming out of the box, I'm really impressed with it going on my face. I think it looks nice. So that's it. I hope you guys are good and that you're safe. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything you would like to see me do on my channel. I do have some I do have some content coming up that's been requested by some of my viewers as well as my nail polish collection. I'm just trying to figure out how to film it. That's where we're at at this point. So, that's it guys. Please be safe. Be smart, and I will talk to you soon.